Ever been scolded for having a messy room or workspace? Well, don't fret too much. You might just be in the company of some of the world's most intelligent people. You see, high IQ individuals often have workspaces that look like a storm just passed through. But it's not because they're careless or disorganized, it's because they're brimming with creativity. When you're busy being a genius, tidiness tends to take a back seat. Research supports this too. Studies have found that disorderly environments actually stimulate creative freedom and the birth of fresh ideas. Imagine that. A cluttered desk could be a playground for innovation. On the flip side, overly neat spaces can stifle creativity, encouraging more of a stick-to-the-rules mentality. So next time you see a cluttered desk, remember it might just be a sign of a brilliant mind at work. Who knew messiness could be so smart? Do you find yourself staying up way past your bedtime? That might not be a bad thing. It turns out those who burn the midnight oil tend to have higher IQs. Now, this doesn't mean they're workaholics. There are different theories at play here. An interesting one ties this behavior back to our ancestors. The night was a dangerous time, so those who had the intelligence to survive the night shift had a leg up. Another theory suggests our creatively inclined ancestors had varying circadian rhythms, staying up late to work, and this trait has been passed down through generations, giving us night owls. Psychologists also propose a theory that people with higher intelligence are more introverted and prefer the quiet solitude of night for uninterrupted thinking. So, the next time you find yourself awake in the wee hours of the morning, remember, being a night owl might just mean you're more intelligent than you think. You might associate swearing with a lack of intelligence, but you could be wrong. It's a common stereotype to think people who use curse words are less educated or lack the ability to express themselves in a more refined manner. However, research suggests that knowing more swear words is actually linked to a more extensive vocabulary and higher intelligence. Intelligent individuals have a rich linguistic ability, which includes a wide array of colorful words, yes, including those four-letter ones. But it's not just about knowing these words, it's also about knowing when and where it's appropriate to use them. Having a command over language means understanding the nuances of context, audience, and timing. So, if you're one of those people who knows a fair share of curse words, don't be too quick to censor yourself. You might just be demonstrating your linguistic prowess. So, knowing a few colorful words might just be a sign of your linguistic prowess. Have you ever heard of famous geniuses taking cold showers or swims? There's a reason for that. Several renowned minds like Benjamin Franklin and Theodore Roosevelt were known to immerse themselves in chilly waters. Now, this might seem like an odd choice of leisure, but it's actually an ancient practice that has profound benefits for both the body and mind. The illustrious Hippocrates himself once said that water therapy can alleviate mental and physical weakness. When our bodies are suddenly exposed to cold water, it sends a shock throughout the system. This in turn pumps fresh, oxygen-rich blood towards the brain and other vital organs, invigorating the entire body. But the benefits aren't just physical. Cold showers can also lead to an improvement in mood and memory. This could be why those who regularly take cold showers often report increased productivity. So next time you're dreading that cold shower, remember it might just be boosting your brain power. Does the sound of other people chewing drive you up the wall? You're not alone. It might seem like a trivial annoyance, but there's actually a fascinating correlation between getting peeved by the sound of chewing and having a high degree of creative cognition. In fact, studies have discovered that people who find the sound of chewing annoying tend to have a heightened sensitivity to the world around them. They're more aware of their surroundings, and they pick up on details that others might miss. This heightened sensitivity often goes hand in hand with creativity and intelligence. Moreover, this annoyance is not just about being fussy, it's a phenomenon known as misophonia, where certain sounds trigger emotional responses. And guess what? It's more common among people with high IQs. So, the next time your coworker's loud chewing makes you want to scream, remember it's not just an irritation. It may be a sign of your own creative cognition, so being irked by munching sounds might just be a sign of your creative cognition. We've gone through some unusual habits that are often associated with high intelligence. Let's do a quick recap. First, we talked about how intelligent individuals often have messy workspaces. This isn't because they're slobs, but rather because their creative minds are consumed by problems and ideas, leaving little room for orderliness. 
Research also indicates that a cluttered workspace can actually spark creativity and originality. So, if your desk is a mess, it might just be a sign of your intellectual prowess. Next, we delved into the habit of staying up late. Those with higher IQs tend to be night owls, a trait that could be linked to evolutionary factors. It's hypothesized that our intelligent ancestors had to work through the night, requiring more brain power for survival. Furthermore, intelligent individuals often prefer the solitude and quiet of the night to concentrate without interruption. We also explored the interesting link between intelligence and profanity. While it's often thought that swearing indicates a lack of vocabulary or education, the opposite is actually true. Those who know more curse words tend to have a larger overall vocabulary tying into their linguistic abilities and intelligence. Of course, they also know when and where it's appropriate to use such language. Then we touched on the habit of taking cold showers. This practice, used by many famous geniuses, is believed to invigorate the body and mind. The shock of the cold water pumps fresh blood to the brain and vital organs, potentially improving mood, memory, and productivity. Lastly, we discussed how highly intelligent people can be annoyed by the sound of chewing. This could be linked to their high creative cognition, making them more sensitive to certain sounds. So, next time you notice these habits in your own behavior, don't be too hard on yourself, you might just be smarter than you think.